Let's begin the show with a topic that we all care about. I'm talking about 5G. Today, we are not going to talk about its speed or rollout plans. Instead, our focus is on the debate around the perceived dangers of 5G. We are going to separate facts from myths. So here is an investigation into the health risks supposedly posed by the new 5G technology. There is a lot of buzz and excitement around the super fast speeds of 5G, the next generation mobile wireless network. But there are also fears that the 5G technology could harm our health. Let's look at what conspiracy theorists are claiming. One of the most common concerns is that 5G can cause cancer. Another fear is that 5G emitted radiation weakens the immune system. Many even believe that 5G will cause infertility in men. Experts and health authorities around the world are cautioning people about these unsupported claims. Some even call them grossly overblown. Look at this. The radio waves involved in 5G sit on the low frequency end of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's said to be even less powerful than visible light, which means they don't have enough energy to break apart DNA or cause damage to cells. In other words, like radios, TVs and microwaves, 5G networks also emit non-ionizing radiation at levels that are not harmful to human health. Radiation experts, research institutes and health authorities agree unanimously on this. As further proof, look at this report by Deloitte, titled Technology, Media and Telecommunications Predictions 2021, claims 5G does generate radiation, but at very safe levels. And none of it is radioactive radiation. 5G base stations and phones and the frequency ranges within which 5G operates are very likely to be operating well within safe parameters in 2021 and throughout 5G's lifetime, which may extend to two decades. According to Rodney Croft, who is a member of the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, a global organization tasked with protecting the public and the environment from radiation, Although ionizing radiation, such as from X-rays or nuclear reactions, can cause serious health effects, such as cancer, non-ionizing radiation at the levels related to 5G cannot cause any health effects. He also adds, international regulations restrict 5G exposures to levels that cannot cause harm. So there are not any adverse health effects caused by exposure to 5G. The World Health Organization also maintains that there is no evidence that radiation emitted from 5G is harmful to human health. If we go by the findings of authoritative bodies and opinions of experts, it is very unlikely that the radiation from 5G mobile networks and 5G phones will affect the health of any single individual. Be it a 5G user, a user of any other generation of mobile phones, or any individual in the vicinity of a mobile network. So. Next time someone tries to mislead you with information on the dangers of 5G technology, don't panic. Use some of these facts to dispel myths and misinformation.